So today we're going to walk through some inventory basics. If you take a look at the inventory you have on hand, you want to go to IC items, inventory control, location details. And from here you can view an item in your inventory and see the locations that their inventory counts for. You can see here there's five different locations with various counts. as well as various amounts um, on purchase order, which means inventory coming in for those locations and quantity on sales order, which are inventory going out. Inventory amounts coming in usually comes through IC receipts that's found here in IC transactions. Go to receipts. Select your item number that you're bringing in, the location it's coming into, quantity you're receiving. And there's a few other fields here for cost. But then from here, you can simply hit post. Made that receipt number, which it'll get rid of because I selected the option to do so. But that would increase your inventory by uh, 55 items. So the inventory amounts that you've just received to get reflected in your location details, you'll need to run periodic processing, day end processing. So you can see there it flashed really quickly, but it processed the receipt document as well as any uh, ship order shipments going out, which reduces inventory. So if we go back to location details, we'll see that this amount has now changed due to inventory we're receiving and inventory that got shipped out. Another way to change inventory counts is through adjustments. So over here, select that same item number we've, we've been dealing with. We can select if we want to increase quantity, decrease quantity, increase or decrease cost or increase or decrease both for our purposes let's just increase that location one let's say increase by a hundred it made an adjustment document ad adj001 and let's go take a look at that inventory you can see here it's increased by 100. Take note of these numbers, 297. Let's go ahead, let's go to order entry and make an order. So over here, select that item. Let's see, let's reduce it by 50, well, let's make an order of 50. also ship it so now we've got that shipment and it's also been invoiced if we go to our inventory over here toggle that back and forth to update you can see quantity on hand is now 247 